guys welcome back to my channel my name is Florence and today I decided to show my face for you to see yay so today I'm going to be making a make me dress and this is my first attempt on this particular dress so just go along with me and I think I'm going to call myself 70 over 100 no 80 over 100 because I tried my first attempt so follow me as I go and don't forget to share with me your outcome of the video that you made from this tutorial okay so subscribe like share and comment down below if this is your first time on my youtube channel welcome 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 and if you have been here all the way following like and sharing my videos thank you so much i love you guys So now I'm going to be I'm going to start by measuring my shoulder divided by two. Come down with one inch for your shoulder slope. Then impute my arm all measurements on this line. After measuring at my armhole, I'm going to measure my bust. Now I'm going to be adding two and a half inches for this dress. Then I'm going to measure from my shoulder to waist. So I've come to realize that shoulder to waist for some people is 21. A shoulder to waist is 21. For the waist allowance, I'm going to be adding one inches extra. That is three inches, three and a half inches for the waist because I'm going to be imputing a that of one inch. So I'm going to be using three by three for the basic that's a basic neckline measurement, three inches wide and three inches long and connect them. Although we don't need any neckline for this, but just to just get the basic So now I'm going to be dividing my arm over by two. Come in by one inch and make my arm all curve.
impute the dart for the then I'm going to be measuring one inch after the dart point. Then I'm going to be measuring from the shoulder to a bust point. So you take the measurement from your shoulder to your bust point. To get your bust point is your shoulder to your nipple. That's a bust point. So for her it's 12. Then a bust taken from which is 4 inches to get the dart point. So for the up that I'm going to be dividing the shoulder by two, two to get the midpoint. Then I'm going to be measuring one inch, one inch. After measuring one inch, I connect it to the bust point also. So the next thing we are going to be doing is to be measuring our bust radius. So as it's four, so we're going to be taking, we're going to be um, measuring four inches round the bust point. So you're going to be putting your tip in the, from the middle point of this pattern and measure four inches round. Just the way I'm doing it, measure four inches round. So now we're going to be contouring our dart line. So we're going to be adding an extra half inch to the both sides, just where I'm doing mine, and connect the lines. After that, we're going to be measuring half an inch inwards from the arm away, then you lower it by one centimeter, just where I'm doing mine. We connect the arm all line. Next thing we're going to be doing is to connect this new line we've drawn from the the new line we have now from the arm hole, connect it to the cup we're making. Divide the cup into two by ruling the straight line from one end to the other. Go upward on the center line with one inch. For the upper part of the cup, we're going to be coming down with two centimeters, then connect. The line folding your that your upper dart and connect the line to meet the center part of the pattern. So now for under the bust, I'm going to be rolling a straight line just where I'm doing mine. Watch me closely. Rule a straight line. Then at the edge point of this pattern, we're going to be going up by three centimeters. Go up by three centimeters and connect the line just where I'm doing mine. We're going to be measuring at the upper part of the cup. We're going to be going in by two centimeters. After measuring two centimeters, we connect the slant line from that two centimeter to meet up with the three centimeter that we measured under the cup. So now upwards we're having two centimeter, downwards we're having three centimeters. Now cut out the pattern around in mind because now we are going to be working on the cup properly.
going to be measuring a straight line across the cup just just like this I'm cutting out those lines because I'm going to be doing a slash and a spread method. So now I'm going to be cutting out just where I'm doing mine. Cut it carefully and label it well so you won't have to mess it up. Then place them on place them on a plain pattern paper. But I'm going to be spreading them with five centimeters each because this person has a big bust. So I'm going to be spreading them with five centimeters. So you can actually you can spread yours with you can spread yours with three centimeters, you can spread yours with two centimeters. But me, I'm going to be spreading mine now with five centimeters. So after spreading, just the way I've labeled them, I'm going to be placing them on top of the plain pattern paper that I've got. After placing them on top of the plain pattern paper, then I'm going to be connecting the lines together just to get the curve that we want. The upper part connect together and also the lower part connect together. After connecting it, we cut it out and this is our cup pattern. And don't forget, we are going to be doing the gathers at the cup to have that full like effect on the cup. That's why we are adding our extra allowance. Now moving on to the back pattern, we are going to be squaring a line with seven inches. We're going to be coming down from the shoulder downwards. Now for the back arm, oh, that's the way we did for the front. We're going to be measuring one centimeter to low down the back arm, oh, one centimeter. And we are going to be going, measuring inwards, half inch, to lower your back arm all then connect the lines then we're going to be marking out our darts we're going to be drawing a straight line across across the back pattern just like this straight straight line across the back pattern like i said four inch for the bust point to get the bust point then we are going to be connecting our darts together then i'm going to be adding half an inch on my i'm not going to be adding half an inch to the damper to the dart to affect the, the waist measurement i'm just going to be adding half an inch in between the dart measurement like towards the bust part like before the bust and before the waist okay i'm going to be adding half an inch then connect the lines okay then the next thing i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be cut like i don't want the back i don't want the back piece of this top to be high so i'm just going to be covering it make the zipper part of this top lower and don't forget that the two inch the two inches you are saying that i did previously measuring it in previously was for our zipper allowance don't forget that From the zipper part, I always remove half an inch from the waistline. Why? Because this help my dress or my top, whatever thing I'm making that has to involve zip. This help remove bulging from my dress or from my top that I'm making. So after then, we are going to be cutting it out. The dart that we measured, we're going to be cutting out the dart that we measured because that dart, the inches that we have for the dart is imputed in our allowance so we're going to be cutting it out and we're going to be stitching why sewing we're going to be sewing them all with one centimeter for our stitching so for the down part i'm going to be cutting this directly on the fabric and so i'm going to be measuring my waist divided by four then i'm going to be going down with 9.5 inches the half inches for the 
hip line is because we're going to be using that half inches to join the skirt and the top together then on that hip line i'm going to be putting my hip measurement plus two inches allowance then i'm going to be measuring the dart now the dart four inches to get the dart point then half an inch on both sides then the length of the dart i'm using 12 centimeter for the length of the dart then i'm going to connect my dart so now let's cut the back for the back pattern of this skirt i'm going to be folding the fabric into two then i'm going to measure two inches inwards for our i'm going to cut it out and that is it for the skirt the back pattern i'm done so now we're going to be working on the front pattern to get the slit so what we're going to be doing now we're going to open the front pattern fully get after running a straight line then measure half an inch in between the lines half an inch in between the After measuring that you cut you open the line from the down part to the waist part but so moving forward we're going to be stitching all the pieces we have together so we're going to be starting with the skirt part of the dress we are going to start off with all the darts we're going to be sewing the two back darts together um, the two inches allowance are gave for the back part we're going to be joining it from the waist downwards and don't forget we're going to be adding zipper to the back part of the skirt so when it's time we're going to be that line we, we are going to be sewing now we're going to be losing it we're going to have to lose it out later so we can uh, so we can impute our zip but for now let's just stitch it together so we know we're having a one piece for the back skirt after stitching the dart and stitching the um, middle point which is the zipper point for this skirt we'll go right to the front piece and also stitch the ending my stitching here i've marked the point you can see i'm going to sew right from the beginning of the to that point and double stitch it so it soon lose out later so now after doing all that i'm going to iron out all the parts i've sewn Then also the slit, I'm going to open up the I'm going to open up the line that I sewed together, open it up and iron it straight down. So I have that mark. So I can have when I'm about piping the slit, I'll have a guideline that okay, this is where I'm supposed to pipe. So after doing that, I'm going to be placing the front piece and the back piece of the skirt together to implement the right to... measurement on this skirt. So after ironing, this is how it looks. This is the slit. After doing that, we're going to be moving on to the top part of this. So we're going to be joining these parts of the cup together that's what i'm doing mine join the the left part and the right part together after joining you join the both join the both piece together to form one i cut out four pieces for the for the cup because i'm going to be using one of the piece for interfacing at the under part of this cup like we're going to be sewing a loose stitch this is going to help us get the gather so we're going to be dragging it dragging it in together the four cup and before and before doing this you have to measure around the cup you have like the cup pattern you've sewn together measure around to know the exact measurement that is there so when dragging the cup you know that okay if it's 13 inches that you have after dragging the cup make sure the dragging should be 13 inches so after doing the gathers together the next time you're going to be interfacing the both cups together so you place one of the piece you have right face facing right right side facing right side then you stitch the top of flip over after flipping you press down after pressing down You take this boat cup and fix it on the boat bust part of this top. Cut out two pattern for our tights. Now I'm going to be piping the rope together, the boat rope together. This is how I'm doing it. I open up a little hole at the front part of this top 
at the, at the front part and also at the armhole area so my rope can pass through. After inserting my rope, I stitched the back at the armhole area. I top stitch where the rope is at the front so the rope will not be moving. So moving now, I'm going to be working on the back piece for the top to be holding in this two back piece with one set. Hold it together, the two back piece. After After holding the two back pieces together, we are going. The next thing we're going to do is to be interfacing the two back pieces. I interfaced it just like this. After interfacing, I pressed it down. Then I held the two back pieces together with the two inches the part that I measured in. I held I held it down with two inches of power allowance. As I'm going to be placing the back and the front piece together, and I'm going to be inputting my right measurement. And after doing this, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be attaching the top and I'm going to be working on the sleeve. So the sleeve is, I just cut a very long piece, which is the length of this. Okay, I cut a very long piece. The wideness is 30 inches for this and the length is 16 inches for the sleeve. So after measuring measuring out, depending on how you want it to be, if you want it very, very full or bigger, you can make it wider as you want. Or if you don't want it that big, you can reduce it, depending on your size. After cutting out this piece for my sleeve, I'm going to be piping it up, the top part and the down part of the both piece for the sleeve. After piping it, I'm going to be insert, inserting our uh, elastic elastic on the top and elastic on the um, tight so i'm not going to be making the upper part of the sleeve very tight because my client says she wants it a little bit free so after imputing that this is how the dress look the final outcome of the dress so it's looking nice um this is my first attempt guys first attempt of this dress so, so just imagine what the second attempt is going to be like so thank you guys for watching